So hey there, this is my last morning in Thailand. I'm actually in Bangkok, so came over around April 15th, came to Bangkok. I was in quarantine for just seven days, and then I headed to Koh Samui. I was there the whole time. Headed to Bangkok yesterday, because, or yesterday, two days ago. I had to get a COVID test. So I got this hotel, I'm staying at the Grand Foyer near the airport. And I'm gonna tell you for 19 bucks a night, this place was great. So um, I'm out on my balcony right now, you can see the sunrise. I don't know if you can hear the, the frogs and the cicadas and the chickens, but I'm heading back to the United States today. So I'll be at the airport, my flight takes off at 8.05 a.m. I fly to Japan. Then I fly to Seattle, and then I fly all the way to Phoenix. And I actually leave here at 8.05, and I get to Phoenix at like 4 p.m. all on the same day. So that's one of the benefits of flying back from Asia to the United States. You don't lose a day. You actually take the fly and land on the same day because of the time differences. So this was the room. And... Uh, you know, very nice. They actually have a pool. I did not use the pool. Uh, unbelievable market right outside the front door. Uh, the market might be every night. I was here on a Thursday and a Friday night and it was both nights. So I'm gonna document my trip to the United States from Bangkok and uh, I'll see you in the next little segment. Bye. So I figured I'd show you how I travel when I travel to Asia. So I've got one big backpack. I've got a Denali 60. I think the 60 stands for 60 liters. That thing is full. And then I flew over with one backpack. And this is my backpack that I use for, for work and everything. It's got my laptop in there, but I've got my Insta360 camera in there. I've got uh, my paperwork in there. And then I bought this cheap backpack at Tesco Lotus. This thing was only like five or six dollars. But of course, you get what you pay for. So you can see that the strap is already falling apart. But having two backpacks make it kind of easy. So I'll uh, see you guys at the next stop. And that noise you just heard was the telephone. So they have shuttles here every half an hour, every hour. So when I checked in, I saw the shuttle was at 5.30 in the morning. My flight's at eight. That's the shuttle I was gonna get. But I just went downstairs and I was supposed to tell them I was gonna be on the shuttle. So they're actually calling me a car. So I'll be out of here in about 10 minutes. See you at the airport, next stop. So I'm here in Bangkok, checking into my flight, Japan Airlines, and this is the first time I've actually waited in a line. So, glad I got here early, but it's not going to be an issue, I'm sure. Next stop, security. So I've made it through check-in. So you can see there's a little bit of a line there. A little bit more than I expected. But that's pretty cool.
easy through security less than three minutes on my way to the gate then the plane so i forgot about passport control that actually took about 15 minutes but right when you make it through passport control you see this really nice thai sculpture and statue so the next stop the gate and the plane. So I made it to Narita, Japan, Narita Airport in Tokyo. The flight actually from Bangkok to Tokyo was probably about 60% full. I mean, it was pretty full. Couldn't change seats or anything. So next stop, the gate. See you there. So pretty boring trip so far. Hopefully you're still sticking with me. This is gonna show you how easy it is to actually travel from Bangkok to the United States, specifically Phoenix, Arizona. So the next leg here is Narita, Japan, or Tokyo, Japan, to Seattle. And when I had to switch to uh, the, the next flight, we had to go through security again. So that was kind of a pain in the butt because there were long lines, but other than that, just went right through, like no issues. So that's it, here I am. Next flight takes off in an hour and 20 minutes. Next stop, Seattle, and then Phoenix. So I made it to Seattle, uh, a little bit late. Um, boarding time for my next flight is 12.09. And it's uh, 11.52 right now, and I haven't made it through customs yet. But I did do the digital passport which got me through the entire line uh, immediately because I got a barcode. Now I just have to get my luggage and get to work. So I arrived in Seattle at 11.42. Boarding starts on my flight at 12.09. I had to go through customs and baggage claim and then they had me bring my bags all the way to American to recheck in. And somehow I was still able to make it here. It's 12.16. So boarding only started like uh, seven minutes ago. Uh, here's a word of advice. Is do the digital passport. So there was a line. I was almost the last person off the plane. There was a line of probably 300 people. And uh, I was able to bypass them all. And then my bag luckily was one of the first ones off the plane. So I got lucky there. Um, also, my flight was full. So it looks like a lot more people are coming to the United States uh, than leaving the United States for Asia. So I'll have more updates for you, but I just wanted to let you know that I uh, made it this far. So safely arrived in Phoenix on time. Only issue is my bag's not here, so I've got to go to the American Airlines office and they'll deliver it to my house. I guess it didn't make it out of Seattle. So that's it. Safe trip. Pretty uneventful. Wish my bag was here, but other than that, good to go. Bye. All right. So, one last recap. Pretty successful trip. Pretty successful trip on the way back. I flew from Bangkok to Narita, Japan. That was about a six hour flight. Then from Japan to Seattle that was about an eight and a half hour flight it was a little tight because they left a little late and um, made it on the plane to Seattle but my bags did not so they're gonna be delivered at seven o'clock and then they'll be delivering them to my house so my rides just about here Turn the camera around. Show you what the arrival part looks like here in Phoenix. And here it is. Filthy car.